What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, some MTG Arena content here. We're going to do some Cascade Constructed, which is just standard. They just like alliteration. And uh, in Cascade Constructed, each spell has Cascade. When you cast that card, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land spell with converting mana cost less than the spell you cast. Then you get to play that card without paying its mana cost. Reveal the cards you don't cast. Go to the bottom of your library. Build a 60-card deck to take advantage of these rules and put it to the test. Maelstrom Nexus Emblem. That's actually pretty sweet. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. All right, so we're going to build a deck to exploit this fact. And I don't know what to make it. We could also just play like a, like a multicolor deck, like an Esper multicolor deck. Because this deck is very strong as it is, but being able to like cast a Seraph of the Scales and hit like any of these cards is pretty strong. Does it say any spell? I mean, it, it makes sense that it would only be the first spell. This one says the first spell. Oh, it says each spell has Cascade. That's interesting. Because the emblem says whenever you cast your first spell each turn. Which makes sense. It shouldn't actually be every spell because that would be actually ridiculous. Do we, even, do we build a new deck? I really don't know what I would use to take advantage of Cascade here. Is Mono Red busted in this format? What if we build like a life gain deck? Is that a thing? I have this Bant Flash deck, actually, that has a bunch of life gain in it. Like, it has the Absorbs and the Knight of Autumns. And if you can go Frilled Mystic into Knight of Autumn. But, like, Absorb is pretty bad because... I guess in, you can... In, you guess you could, um... Let's put Lyra's in here. I don't like the, the Frilled Mystics, though, or the Absorbs, just because, like... Um... If you cast, if you cast a Lyra and then you Cascade into a Frilled Mystic, it's pretty rough. If I say life, will that give me some things? Yes, it will. That seems good. I kind of just want some, like, like Mesa Unicorns and things just to gain life. 1-3 seems good. 1-3 with lifelink. I think that's actually pretty okay. So is Inspiring Cleric. What if we take out the Absorbs and put in Inspiring Thank Clerics? You. Lamagoy, thank you so much for the resub. One year, buddy. One full year of Lyra pumping resto. That is true. Also, Inspiring Clerk seems better uh, due to the fact that uh, if you cascade into it, it's not super powerful, but if you cascade into it, it's, it's just fine. And this guy puts lifelinkers into play, right? So we can actually play three of this guy. Shield Mare can be blocked by red creature. Shield Mare seems... Actually, Shield Mare better than Inspiring Cleric. This is a 3-2 for 4. This is a 2-3 three for 3. Um, Actually, I kind of like Shield Mare better. It's harder to cast, though, but I think that's actually okay. All right. I also love War Leader in general. That's a good... How do I add more? What? No, why would it... Like, there's no... I wish... I hate that when you click it, it disappears, but there's no button to click to put more in the deck. That's something right there. Where is... There we go. All right, well, whatever. Do I have another Lyra on the sideboard? I do. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, I actually like Sphinx's Insight here. Like, hitting hitting that instead of Chemist's Insight seems good if, if Mono Red is, like, the thing to beat right now. All my cards are just going to gain us life. But, like, it's okay because you're actually getting them for free. They're just free spells. I don't know if that makes it... Actually, we want four Night of Autumns in the deck. I guess we'll get there. It does have life on it, so we'll just get there eventually. Oh, that's true. We probably are going to hit Crassus every time, which is pretty bad. Um, I guess we could just take Crassus out. 
Okay, so another Knight of Autumn. All, all Quattro in the deck. Mm. Which sucks. I mean, it's a great card. I'd rather have it in the deck, but I understand that it's not ideal. I kind of like Diamond Mare. Just name white. One, two, three, four. Like all of our cards. We have so many white cards. Oh my god, this Mike's birthday cake. Alright, so... I think we... I like our four drops. I like our three drops. We do want more two drops, I think. And I think there's definitely enough options for them. That's interesting. That arena exclusive card. We could just put an explore guys too and wild growth walkers, but we would if we take out the blink, we have fifty. We have nine cards. We can put four wild growth walkers, four merfolk branch walkers, but those are the only cards that really explore. So not. Let's look for two drops. I don't feel like we have enough to, to like, I don't think we have enough gold cards for that actually. Like we only have one, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten elements. We only have fourteen gold cards, so maybe like uh, twenty five less than twenty five percent of our deck is gold cards. I kinda just want bishop soldiers. Like just or like Mesa Mesa Unicorns, just cards that just two twos for two that gain us life or one threes that gain us life, like Senate Guild Mage is cute. I'm going to actually put in three Daybreak Chaplains, which is weird. I'm going to put one Hadana's Climb in the deck. And now we're going to get rid of this and look at the one drops. But not one drops that need life, just one drops in general so we can figure out what's going to go best. I do like opt. Opt is a pretty nice one drop because, like, if you play any of your two drops, you're just gonna hit an opt. Or you could actually play like Land of War Elf, but I don't think we want Green on turn one necessarily. I think it is opt. We actually take Blink out and then put like three Pride Mates in. Because we don't need that many Ops, we just want Ops to... We just want something to hit off of. Actually, I think it's probably just better to have four, right? We don't actually have four. Oh, a well, Johnny's Welcome seems great. Which is pretty comical because... Let me take out one Teferi. That's hilarious. You're like you're always going to hit this off of like... Yeah, that's actually great. This is interesting. This is an interesting deck. I don't love Gross Spiral, but I think it's probably okay because it like it'll hit one of it'll hit one of these, but then also like it ramps you into your sweet four and fives. So I think that's okay. Uh, whenever an opponent casts a spell. Yeah, actually, we're just going to take out the Gross Spirals and put Lavinia's in. And then I'll just add a fourth one of these. Okay, I want to add more. Why, why do I have to go to the card? Like, it sucks if I left-click on it, it takes the card out, but there's no button to add the card except for just going back to the card itself. 
I don't want absorb because if I play any of these, like if I play this guy, it's, it's gonna hit absorb. Like we're trying to take out um, um, yeah, this seems good. Oh, actually, did I just change my entire band deck? That sucks. <laughs> I should have made a copy. I don't know how you do that. Is that a thing I can even do? Also, Hydroid Crassus should no longer be the guy. So we're going to put a Johnny's Welcome here. Done. All right. Let's try it out. And we'll see how it goes. Let's do 250 gold arena. Scascades sc standard. Wow, that alliteration though. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this. We can drop a harbor on turn one, then a plains on turn two. We can also just drop Temple Garden. Actually, Temple Garden seems better. It gives us the white we need. And now both of our control and harbors come back. Here we go. Here we go. Seems good. Deals one damage to a creature you control. Oh, so they just dealt the damage and dealt the damage to our face. So we can actually Pride Mate, get another Johnny's Welcome. We have a 4-4 and now we're still at 20, huh? Seems good. You got three cards? Seems good. Seal away hits a third of Johnny's Welcome? Seems good. That guy seems good. So... That seems also good. A third of Johnny's welcome. <laughs> we gain three, we get a seven seven. I'm game. And then we can keep up seal away to get rid of like gutter snipe or spear spewer. I feel like my guy is bigger here. This guy deals with both, both players, right? Yeah, seems good. And it's chump block time. We have more life than you and you're the mono red deck. I'm alright with it. Yep. Two shocks in the graveyard, which is nice. Risk factor, huh? Okay, so resolve that. See what you hit. Doesn't matter, I guess, because you're not going to be able to cast it, so. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of 
triggers here. Okay, so... Sure. 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 Uh, well, this is a lot of damage in one turn. Make no mistake about that. Uh, target opponent may have risk of deal four damage to them. Have risk if you decline, your opponent will draw three cards. I will take that. Night of Autumn gives us like four, seven life. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so we can go Pride Mate. For the fourth of Johnny's Welcome. Yeah, the Johnny's Welcome is pretty much OP here. This is actually nuts. The red deck can still just kill you out of nowhere, unfortunately, but... What is this, 4-8? This is like 12 life we gain this turn. This is unreal, dude. What am I going to do here? I think we'll just gain 4 life. What up, Chris? Done. Done. Is this real? <laughs> this feels good. Do we break the format? Who knows? Back at 21. Let's attack with our 16 and 16. I'm going to keep Lavinia back. I don't really want you to trade with a gutter snipe, even though it's pretty good. I guess we can hide these. I don't really think they need to be on the battlefield. You got it. I feel like eventually, look, they actually didn't activate that guy, which is a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good indication of, of where your, where your head's at. That's interesting, because if you cast this first, that would be your cast. I guess it doesn't matter, because we have, uh, Levine out, so. I wasn't thinking of going to BlizzCon this year, but after all the rad announcements uh, and Overwatch Harsley HTC streams this weekend, I think I might be. I, I really feel like I have no reason not to go to BlizzCon. Like it's just like if Mike has access to passes and you guys are gonna go too. Like I just really have no reason not to go. Yep, let's play this guy. We'll cascade into something sweet. Sure. <laughs> let's gain eleven life. Oh man. You want to play the red deck, bar bro? I'm game. <laughs> oh, man. We're having a good time. Here go. What's this? Can't be blocked by red creatures? Hmm. I think we're I think they're dead. I think the game is over. Cute red deck though. Zaxor, me too, buddy, me too. I'm excited about it. I think you mean the video. Do you mean do you refer to the video? If you guys haven't done so, you can check out uh YouTube.com slash Frank Laporte, and you have, uh, you can see my video on Modern Horizons that I put up on Friday morning, so. Um, a Johnny's Pride Mate? Seems good. Oh yeah, leave with that mountain.
Got him. Next thing we have a creature, unfortunately. We might want to put more three drops in the deck. Specifically... That's rude. A gutter bound. <laughs> I accept. Oh man, Johnny's present. Uh, Johnny's welcome is uh, MVP here. That's insane. And if we hit any white source, we can play a Leon and War Leader. If not, we still have Seal Away, which is nice because it gets a third of Johnny's welcome. I mean, they could Lightning Strike this, hope to hit like. Yep, they're gonna hope to hit a, a Shock, I guess. Oh, that's really cute. I guess I was I want to say it's a two for one, but it's actually still one, so. I mean Johnny's welcome still doing a lot of hard work here. I think we're still in good shape. Like Gl Glacial Fortress one time. Ah, uh, Lavinia actually hits yet another Oh Johnny's welcome, and we gain three now, so. When every one of your creatures gains you three to four life, it's pretty good. fine. I will take like five here if you attack with all these guys. Sure. Double shoot Lavinia. You got into one card in hand. It's pretty good. We also get to seal away this. Hit our fourth of Johnny's welcome. Nope. Just taking it. Oh, that was really good. Wow. Pay two. Also, War Leader, when it attacks, uh, we gain four life. Or we gain three life each. So, that's pretty good. Also, oh my god, this card is... Look at this 1-3. That literally blocks... We just gained six life. This 1-3 blocks their whole board profitably. That's hilarious. Daybreak Chaplain. <laughs> Oh, man. Chris, I have never considered being less rude of a dude. War Leader makes two uh, when it attacks. Yes. Not when it comes into play, though. Oh, wow. We just get to play Lyra here. Holy Jesus. How much life is this? We gain three. Three, four, five, six, 79, 10, 11, 12, 13, We gain 15 life this turn. <laughs> yeah, take your red decks and get out of here, man. Take your red decks and get out of here. Oh, man. Let me throw the deck list on... Uh, I'll throw the deck list up on Stream Decker so you guys can find it. Oh, my God. This is just hilarious. I hope we fight... I hope we face all red decks. Dang it. Uh, hold on one second. I'm just trying to upload this. Six. 
save. Okay, um, yeah, we're keeping this hand. I don't like having a Johnny's Welcome, but I guess it's fine because it's been very, very good here, so. The deck has been updated. Uh, I don't think any of the rares are not versatile, though. Like, the, the rares are all, like, um, Knight of Autumn and Leon and Warleader. I guess Leon and Warleader is rough, but, like, I mean, a lot of the rares are, are pretty versatile, whereas, like, Lyra's, Teferi's, things like that. Another red deck. Resplendent Angel could be pretty good. Yeah, I didn't realize we were going to be getting this much, um, this much life. Okay, shock hitting shock off that's pretty good. We do want a green source here. A Johnny's welcome into Night of Autumn is pretty okay. Okay, well that's not it. This actually might be the match we lose just because we have no two drops here, which is pretty awkward. I'm going to draw Hinterland Harbor and regret not playing this island. You ready? Another light up the stage, huh? Seems good. Now I think we're a little far behind. Yeah, that's rough. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're gonna lose just because of uh, mana issues here. Not being able to cast. One, two, three, four, five, six, and they have two mountains. Actually, I mean, we'll give it a shot. Doesn't feel great, but back-to-back -back Night of Autumn could be good. We could also just play War Leader next turn, which is also fine. We just gain a life, though. We did not forest off the top one time, unfortunately. Radical Firebrand. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. It's... So it's technically now. Now it's actually nine damage because one, two, three. Four. Yeah. We're at two. Oh wow. Oh wow. Um, we're one mana shy for that though. I think we actually have to do some life gain shenanigans. I don't think that's going to do it. That's actually worse. Go to three. Yeah, we're dead. All right. Yeah, we were hoping for either Shield Mare or Knight there. Um, but, I mean, like, just because three drops are creatures, that doesn't mean we're not going to hit a two drop or a one drop there, so. Two one against red. I think that's fine. I mean, we've got a little color screwed there. It happens. Um, yeah, this hand's good. Turn to a Johnny's Pride Mate. Oh, a green deck, eh? Oh, that was actually great. So long, entire deck.
Yeah, there's only one climb in the deck, so next turn we're gonna have a 4 4. That's pretty cool. That's interesting. They had three mana, but they only used they only ca they used their cascade for a one throw. Huh. If they play a two drop afterwards, oh they just literally have just mono elves. Interesting. And here we go. A jump next to Johnny's primate makes uh, three welcomes, so this becomes a 7-7, seven, seven, this becomes a 5-5, five, five, and they only have green? That seems pretty good. I mean, that actually seems... That's also scary, but, like, not against our pride mates, unfortunately. And they cascaded into their fourth land of world. Okay, well, that's hilarious. say no attacks. I feel like we can just take seven here and then wait a turn and next turn we can play like Adonis Climb. I'm not really terrified of this guy. They're also mono green so like unless they have a plus two plus two and fight or something. Oh what up bristling boar? Sure crawl harpooner is pretty bad. No blocks. Okay, so we're definitely playing climb because I'd rather I'd rather have this cascade. Don't be the third of Johnny's welcome. That's terrible. I mean I'm gonna play it, but it's terrible. Like uh, the nice thing is we can put a counter on this guy and make it an 80. So now it can block the Carnage Tyrant. So we have two of the we have one of the, the two cards in their hand. That's pretty good. That is fine. And they have zero cards in their graveyard, which is nice. Do they only have four land elves? Is that their only one drop? Pelt collector. That's good. I feel like every creature just gaining four life. It's uh. uh Per creature is pretty insane here. Like, I don't think that's actually. I think a Johnny's Pride made is un unbelievable in this deck, and uh, you guys were really MVPs to come to. Oh, this actually makes us a 12 12. We can fly on over and kill him. This guy has reach, though, so they do get a turn, but. I mean, they're really just denying the. In not denying, but um, delaying the inevitable there, so. Well, this is unfortunate because. It's the only card we can cast, and because last turn the three drop cascaded into our last one drop, we don't get anything off of this, so the value is just not there. So let's play this guy. I mean, they're in top deck mode, so. If they forget Crawl Harpooner has reach, I'd be, uh, I'd be okay with it. Okay. <laughs> I guess they're just done. They're like, you know what? You got it. Our deck is definitely sweet. I think there are definitely some improvements that can be made, but I think for a 
uh, initial first run of this deck, I think it's pretty cool. Oh yes. Oh yes. Why I think we've gone have we gone first once yet? I don't think so. Turn two Pride Mate and turn three Pride Mate with double Johnny's welcome is pretty nuts. What did they name? Human. Okay. No one drops. Interesting. I feel like the one drops are basically just tutorable, right? Like, I mean, if you have a one drop, every two drop is going to guarantee to hit that one drop. So it's kind of sweet. Yeah, if you guys subscribe, all of the emotes that we have in the stream, you also get to use in the Discord, which is pretty, pretty insane. Interesting. Unbreakable formation. Another hero. Okay, so you have two three threes. I will take three here. Oh, Lavinia seems insane. Hmm. I feel like we just Lavinia here. Yeah, I think we just want Lavinia here. No attacks. Yeah, she also gains us two life, which is mm, no joke. Plague Crafter. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep, no third hero for you. I guess we'll sacrifice Lavinia here. I don't think we want to sacrifice 5-5. Five, five. Well, they also had to sacrifice a guy too. Why would you sacrifice that instead of the Plague Crafter? That does not seem ideal. Uh, now we're just going to play this guy. Game three. I'm actually going to pay two. We're at 23. I'd like to keep up Seal away. And then we can get our fourth... Fourth of Johnny's welcome. <laughs> Seems good. I'll, I'll take it. I guess we're probably not sealing away anything because they they're not going to attack with their plague crafters. So they could get rid of our guy. And again, see, like, no one drops, so you just play Priest. Like, if you're playing Priest and Plague Crafter, you probably want Footlight Fiend in the deck. Footlight Fiend is actually good with every card we've seen so far. It's good with Hero of Priest Saint 1. It's okay with Unbreakable, they just get a counter. It's okay to sacrifice the Plague Crafter, and it's great to sacrifice the Priest. So, like, it's really weird that you're just not playing one drops that are basically just giving you free cards. How about a Teferi? Yep, that's pretty good. Game three. I am not going to hold that thought. Um, Teferi's at five. We can easily block here with Lavinia. We also have Seal Away. Yeah, this is fine. Seal we gets us our fourth welcome as well. You know what? That is fine. I will take it all. 
No free Midnight Reaper. Definitely getting rid of Lavinia. Like she's done her job. Like she's she's denied them a creature. Um, like they have to block both of these. So And that'll do. All right. They might have thought we could actually get rid of one of their untapped guys. We cannot. We were just going to get rid of their tapped guy. But nonetheless, like, we have a Teferi and 11-11 and a 8-8. And we gain four life for every creature we play. So let's see if we can 5-1 this bad boy. Uh, Pride Mate and Lavinia. That's all I need to know. Are we going first this time? It doesn't say opponent's turn. Playing against Citrus Cheese. Uh, seems pretty gross, but alright. Do we just start with Lavinia? We might just start with Lavinia, actually. Not a red deck. Fascinating. Can a blue deck even deal with Lavinia? Interesting. Oh, I did forget to turn on Deckmaster. My bad. My, that's my bad. Kill our pride made in response. Super rude. Oh, that's a good one. I think we just want to make this a big guy. Are there any instants that we're really scared of that? Or like any any instant creatures that they can play that would like block Lavinia? I don't think so. Beacon Bolt, eh? Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I just get to kill my whole board. Oh, nice.
Please. Why'd you say the slow life gain spell is your one drop? Why not duress? Uh, <laughs> these are good questions you're asking here. Yep, but you can both kill this guy, sure. This deck also seems very good. But Teferi also seems pretty good, so. Let's go over these two guys. Thank you. Drago Ensep, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Sure, you got a tackling break. We could actually tuck that if we want. Wow, a Cackling Drake into an Enigma Drake? That's pretty good. That's a yikes for me, dog. Keep up the pace. Wow, that's terrible. Well, on the bright side, we don't have to draw it. So, oh wow, that's brutal. Those were just terrible hits. Yeah, I think we're actually going to lose this round, unfortunately. We didn't put any removal in, we were just dealing with the red decks. But at least we built a fun deck as opposed to our opponent who's literally just playing the standard is a Drake's deck. Now what? Originality is not their strong suit, unfortunately. <laughs> Deck is still pretty fun. Yep. Uh, life. Shield are not being able to be blocked by red creatures is actually pretty good. Um, what do we got? Forty, and they have a lot of damage on board. I guess we're just going to gain life here because we're actually probably dead here. This is pretty ridiculous. 10, 20. This is 38. 39, 40, 42. 43, 44, 5, 46. Yeah, this is pretty good. That's, that's game. Unfortunate. 4, 2. This is like 46, actually. I guess I'll just have to cast uh, Radical Ideas again. Yep. Oh, our connection was lost. Hmm. How unfortunate. That seems random. And claim prize. All right, so yeah, we definitely lost that game. <laughs> Anticlimactically, ooh, a phylactery lich. All right, not terrible, not terrible. Definitely the uh, the deck list will be in the description below. You can also check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Those links are in the description below. And if you guys have Amazon Prime, you can connect your Amazon and Twitch accounts, and you get a free sub a month. So if you guys want to head over to my Twitch channel and give me a sub, I really appreciate it. It's it helps support the content. You can also give me one dollar a month at Patreon, just as a way to support the stream and this and the YouTube channel. So. Uh, Definitely do that. You can also head over to MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get free shipping and free returns. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.